Hello, I'm Tim Dormer, Solutions Architect at AWS. Today, I'm going to walk through how to set up VPC Lattice to provide simple and secure access to a service running on EC2 instances in an auto-scaling group. If you haven't already, I'd encourage you to watch the reInvent video, which introduces VPC Lattice in more detail. However, let's do a quick recap. VPC Lattice has the following key components. The service, which is the application we'd like to publish. The service network, which is a logical network we can publish the services into and attach VPCs to allow clients to access those services. Auth policies, which allows us to define granular access to those services. And the service directory. Before getting into the console, let's take a look at the VPC lattice deployment. We start out with a services VPC. In our case, we're going to have an auto-scaling group with a couple of EC2 instances behind it, but this could be any type of AWS compute. Then we're going to have a client VPC. In this VPC, I'm going to be running Cloud9, which runs on an EC2 instance, which will simulate our client. Both of these VPCs are in the same AWS account, but with VPC Lattice, you can share it across accounts in the same region using Resource Access Manager. Please see my separate video on this. We'll start out by creating an auto-scaling group. In this configuration, we'll be able to define the VPC Lattice target group we wish to use, or in our case, we'll be able to create one. Second, we'll configure a VPC Lattice service, defining both the listener and routing options we wish to use. Additionally, a global DNS entry will automatically be generated for us to use to access the service, and this will resolve to either a link local or a unique local IP address for IPv4 and IPv6 respectively. Step three, we'll create a VPC Lattice service network. Once we have the service network, step four, we'll publish the service into the service network. Then step five, we're going to attach the client VPC to the VPC Lattice service network so we can access those services. Let's go through the steps a client goes through to access a VPC Lattice service. The first step, the client will perform a DNS lookup to find the IP address for the VPC Lattice service. This will resolve to either a link local or unique local IP address. I've shown a link local address. The second step, the client will send traffic to the link local address. Is at this point, step three, where the policies and permissions are checked against the role that the client is using. Step four, Assuming permissions are correct, the client requests will be forwarded to one of the targets in the target group. The traffic is forwarded directly over the service network without the need for any other networking constructs such as a transit gateway. So let's dive into the console. Let's go into the VPC and make sure that we don't have any existing configuration, that it's all clean. So let's check on the target groups, services, and service networks. It's all good, so let's uh, switch over to the EC2 dashboard. We're going to create an auto scaling group. Let's give it a name. And we're going to create it from a launch template that I've already created for a simple web server. Select the VPCs that we'd like to use for the auto scaling group. I'm going to select the first two private subnets. This is a new screen, so we've got the VPC Lattice integration options, and you can see here we can attach it to a VPC Lattice service. It's empty right now because we don't have one, so let's go and create one. We're going to use the instance type. Uh, we'll call it ASG Target Group. And we're going to select the protocol two at the back ends, and in this case it's just going to be HTTP. We need to make sure that we've uh, selected the VPCs that we'd like to use for the target group, and then click on Next. Now we don't have any targets to add yet, So now that's active, we'll go back to the EC2 configuration for the auto scaling group and we'll do a refresh and then we'll select the target group. Okay, good. Select the capacity that we'd like. So we'll have a desired of two, minimum one, and let's go for four for maximum. And then we're just gonna click through the rest of these screens. Everything looks good, so let's complete. Okay, so while they're creating, let's go and uh, make sure that we've got the security group on the instances. So let's select security, look at the security group, and you can see that we've got a prefix list, one of the managed prefix lists. So we'll go and have a look at that. And you can see there's two entries in here, one for VPC Lattice and one for IPv6 VPC Lattice, so IPv4 and V6. And you can see the 169.254 address. And you can see the IPv6 unique local address. 
So refreshing the target group, you can see that it just came active. We can go and have a look at that. Um, we've got a couple of instances. They still, the health check isn't completed. Let's go ahead and create a service. Click create service, give it a name. Now we're just gonna give it a custom DNS entry. We did this in a little bit more detail in one of the other videos, but I'm just gonna add it as ASG and then the domain that I typically use and just a wildcard certificate. So we're gonna add a listener for the service. Uh, we're gonna do HTTPS on the front end. So we'll give it 443 and then we're going to select the target group. Now we can have multiple target groups. They could go to different types of compute. We only have one, so we're just going to give it hundred percent. And we're going to go through and create the, the service. Okay. You can see the automatic domain name that was created. I'm just going to quickly go into Route 53 and create a CNAME. So let's type ASG and then paste in the auto generated domain name. Let's create a service network. We can attach services here, so let's go ahead and do it. Now I'm going to do a VPC association, and this is back to my client. VPC, so where I'm running Cloud9. First, we'll test without a policy, and then we'll add an IAM policy later. So now you can see it came active. Let's curl to the service. Okay, that's all the EC2 instances do. Um, so let's go and add a policy. So going back to the service, select the service, and we're gonna click on access here. We're gonna scroll down and edit settings. Select IAM policy. Now there are some pre-built policies here. And you can see this one is not equals to anonymous. So this just means you need to be authenticated. Uh, we're not going to use that one. So let's just delete it out. And I'm going to uh, paste one in. Um, I don't have the right on for the, for the service. So let's go and copy that. And then I'll just edit it in place. Put in the correct on. The effect is allow, the principle is VPC admin. I have an invoke for VPC lattice and the resource is specified as this particular resource and the method is get. So we'll, we'll try a post a little bit later on. Okay, so now that's uh, created, let's see if we can access it again. And you can see that we've got an access denied exception and we're not authorized. So just running a quick command, get caller identity. We can show that I'm using the role VPCL admin. We need to make sure that we're passing in the correct details with the next curl request that we send. So I'm going to grab these from the metadata of the instance, and I'm just going to paste in a couple of commands here to go and grab those. Now we have the credential saved. Let's try a curl command, this time passing in those credentials and see if it works. As you can see, it's successful. Let's try doing the command again, but this time specifying post as the method. As expected, the post request got denied as the policy we attached to the service specified get as the only allowed method. In this brief video, we've set up an EC2 autoscaling group as a VPC lattice target, created a VPC lattice service from that target group, and shared the VPC lattice service via a VPC lattice service network. Additionally, we added an IAM policy to control access to the service. Hope you found it interesting. Thank you for your time.